Hello and welcome to Subversion 3.0. Now, I did plan the server during their 2.0 phase, but a couple months ago or a month or so ago, they released their 3.0 where they basically completely redid the server. They removed everything and started from scratch. And since then, they have added quite a lot of content with updating the server pretty dang regularly. So today, we're gonna be hopping in the server checking out how it is and then we're probably gonna come back in a month or two and check it out once again and see what progress has been made and again i did play a lot in 2.0 had some great rp and a ton of fun so i do have high hopes for subversion rp 3.0 so today we're gonna be checking it out a little bit and showing you guys what's been happening so far so uh first of all you know let's create our character i think we have to create a new one uh let's spawn at the apartments obviously now i I do remember logging in at one point, but I'm not sure if I actually finished creating my character. So we might be doing that right now. Let's see real quick. We can get a little bit of a look at their character creation process as well. Let's wait till we load in here. Alrighty, we are in. Yeah, this is definitely not the look we're going for. Uh, we should hopefully be able to go change our look probably at a barber shop or convenience store. So uh, we should probably go do that. Let's check around our apartment though real quick while we're here. Um, I might have to set some controls. Let me go through those real quick. Alrighty, I changed some settings and I think we should be all right. Okay, so we do have a little stash here. Alpha golden ticket, interesting. Oh, do we spawn in? I, I don't remember actually getting these things. So do we just spawn in with a pistol? I'm not sure. It seems like these things are all decayed is what I'm guessing that red means. So I'm guessing we can't use any of these. I'm hitting the things on my hotbar. Doesn't seem like we can use it. Yeah, I think these things are all expired. I'm not sure why we have these. We'll see. If, let's check out a phone really because we haven't checked out the phone yet. So let's do a quick overview of the phone while we're in our apartment before we actually go get changed out of this freaking hypey Supreme stuff. Not exactly my favorite. All right. So opening up the phone, looks like we have about seven apps off the top. It seems like these ads we can actually click on as well to go straight to them, which is nice. All right. But let's go back to home. Check out their settings. First of all, we can change the radio volume, the click volume and the phone volume from here. Also turn on airplane mode, which is kind of nice. I'm guessing you don't get any notifications or anything when you have that on or people are not able to call you uh oh yeah they also have this thing like on the new iphones where you have to slide up which is a little weird definitely will take some getting used to but it's definitely an interesting feature uh and then of course we have the good old yellow pages it has some nice nice definitely ui here it seems like we're able to post doesn't seem like it costs any money to post either kind of nice again you can just f straight up just call people from here or i believe you hit this and copy their number yep exactly that's a pretty nice feature as well go over to the Flika, which is just our bank account you can see we don't have too much money so at least three months ago i'm not sure if this might have been when we logged on for a second and checked it out also what does this do up here okay this is just the card and our number i guess uh nothing too crazy we can see our deposits and withdrawals from here pretty nice ui overall we can check our garage which again we don't own anything so we're not going to see anything there they do have the party system similar to i believe no pixel we're able to party up with different friends and actually do jobs together which is pretty nice uh let's see what creating a party looks like you just create a party boom 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 and i'm guessing we can just disband this if we want or let's see actually if we're able to go from here and pick a job i guess we are and then of course do the job from there either by our own or with other players so let's disband this group for now check out our mail just a regular thing just a little inbox again we're not going to have anything because we haven't played on the server yet and we have this job app which again we're unemployed so not going to see much there have the usual phone app there's nothing crazy there again you can go to your contacts or recents from here which is kind of nice uh messages app again just normal messages app contacts normal contacts and twitter you know obviously just twitter uh i don't see any pictures so i'm not sure if they have picture um what's it called so i'm not sure if they have the picture integration we're able to post pictures here but uh definitely nice normal uh twitter ui we can go to oh i guess none of these buttons work never mind and that seems like about it for the phone definitely interesting to see anything else we have in our apartment we can access our outfits from here, which is nice. Uh, obviously, we're not going to save this outfit. And we'll check how many people are online. Again, this is about 3.30 p.m. EST on a Sunday. There are... Oh, it doesn't give us like a big list. It seems like... Yeah, it doesn't give us a big list. So I'm actually not sure how many players are on at the moment. But 
let's head out of our apartment so we can hit oh crap so i kind of messed up there by making this the same thing so let me change the setting real quick all right we should be good now go over here and we're able to hit e to exit the apartment or h to look at the browser and if other people want to they can actually unlock their rooms and i'm guessing you can enter their apartments which is pretty cool but let's exit the apartments for now here we go nice alt to apartments let's uh let's go get ourselves looking a little bit better uh what do we see is directly on the map this honestly does not look like there's too much on the map so far again the server is still in development very early development so there might not be a ton to do at the moment but uh i'll definitely definitely look around at the change logs and go over some of that stuff for you guys as well seems like we're parking here are we able to actually rent a vehicle does not seem like it hopefully there is a rental vehicle somewhere because that's something that a lot of servers fail on is not putting a rental so new players are kind of screwed and have nowhere to really go let me look around for a second see if i can find anything Yo, y'all know there's a place to rent a car around here. There is not. I know. Okay. But, to be honest, you could steal cars, and if you got a good story, you won't get a charge. Ah, uh, easy, easy. All right, so apparently, as we just talked to those guys, there is no actual car rental spot, which is a little rough. Um, definitely a feature I think all servers should have, especially for new players who are getting onto the server. If they don't have anywhere to go starting off, they're going to get a little frustrated as I am now. But let's go quickly steal ourselves a car. Hopefully we, we don't run into any police because again, it wouldn't be the best as we're just pretty much starting off on the server. But let's go grab one real quick. Let's try it out with this bike right here. I'm curious how easy it is to actually hotwire. So let's get on. Are we just good to go? No, it does not seem like it. Uh, let's search for the keys first of all. Ooh, nice little UI actually. I kind of like their UIs. They definitely look pretty flashy. Let's wait till this is done. See if we get the keys. Oh, it looks like we got the keys. Okay, is it actually an inventory item? It looks like it was. Let me see. It doesn't actually seem like I can access my inventory when I'm on the bike, which is definitely interesting. Well, at least we have ourselves a little vehicle for now. Uh, again, it's a little a little disappointing they don't have a rental station. Hopefully they'll add it in at some point. Oh, the bikes on the server do not seem very good. Um, or at least I just haven't learned how to drive them yet. But quickly, I'm going to take a little look for the change logs and see if there's any prominent features I want to talk about before we start exploring the city. So after looking through the logs from the past couple of months, a lot of it seemed to be a mix between some criminal stuff, stuff for different whitelisted jobs, such as mechanics, PD, EMS, and more. Uh, so it was not a ton that we can actually go check out. Of course, we're not going to be able to get into crime too early on. Since this is just going to be us on the server for a little bit. But what we can do is go check out some of the locations on the server that are here at the moment. So let's go do that. Actually, before we go check out any locations, we got to change our look a little bit. Look a little bit less like, uh, let's just say not us. I'm not exactly the biggest fan of the Supreme Hype Beast. But uh, let's go over to the barbershop. Also, I, uh, if you guys watched the Eclipse series or you played on Eclipse anytime, I think in 2017 to 2019, I know the name uh jay gamble so i just saw that name I'm not sure if it's the jay gamble i'm thinking of that was from eclipse that was very well known as being the leader of the biggest gang on that server but definitely interesting to see that name so let's uh let's change up the face a little bit i'm gonna do this real quick and uh yeah i'll just probably cut back in a second let's do this real fast five minutes later Alrighty, we're looking a little bit more like ourselves a little bit more again not perfect but little bit better than before uh it seems their character creation is a little bit different from ours so uh, obviously we can't get the perfect face but good enough for now again we can always change in the future and uh again pretty pretty basic setup for the character creation normal as most servers again nothing too crazy pretty much everyone does the same sort of system but let's check out their clothing i saw a lot of the change logs were adding in clothing and changing clothing so i'm guessing they have a lot of custom clothing on the server let's go in here check it out real quick let me see where we change maybe it's in the back here let's see no it's, oh wait, here it is eat open shop okay boom so let's check out the clothing real quick okay interesting clothing system again we can zoom in zoom out all stuff like that but uh let's obviously start off with our clothing boom there we go so again pretty interesting clothing system I think they have a lot of custom clothing if we start going probably pretty high like in the 200s i'm guessing we're gonna see a lot of it this all seems like default gta should be running into the modded stuff soon i'm guessing although it might just be scattered around keep going up and see 
Hmm. I'm guessing that the added clothing might just be scattered around. Oh yeah, there is some stuff. So like off white here, we got uh where was it another one boom there's another one i'm guessing there's different textures for this as well there they are boom 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 yeah i'm guessing there is a decent amount of custom clothing on the server from what i saw so definitely interesting yeah there's the supreme hype beast stuff that i'm not exactly the biggest fan of there's definitely a lot of custom clothing on the server and it seems like they're adding more and more all the time especially for even the different gangs and such so definitely interesting to see but you know let's get our stuff and uh, i'll see you guys again in just one second Alrighty, we should be all good to go did none of that just save? Oh my gosh. Where do you even save? Where do you... Oh, the freaking big check marker at the... Oh my... Okay, I'm stupid. So if you guys are making your character or changing your clothing, make sure to hit this freaking huge check mark at the bottom. Don't be stupid like me and hit close. <sighs> Let me do this again. All right. And once again, I think we should be good to go. Double check. Got the boots, got the pants got the jacket but we don't have the mask let's not forget that as well can we change the mask from here maybe an accessories here we go masks let's go find our good old famous zebra mask oh wait was that it there this might be the one is this the one there we go boom we got our zebra mask let's get the check mark this time we are ready to go i think we can also save outfits let's try see if we can just do slash outfits boom let's save an outfit hit that one button or okay so this is a little weird now because it doesn't actually let us like hit the button so a little weird let me hit e there we go so name we will do can we type here hit enter again maybe seems we can't type okay let's try and do this again again outfits save outfit name trying to hit okay so we can hit tab to go between and then we have to type it okay so let's do main boom and then save and then we should be good view outfits main we're all good to go there we go that's a little confusing for a second you have to use the arrow keys and the enter to use that menu let's hop back on our bike and go start checking out some stuff on the server so first of all we're very close to the courthouse so we might as well go check that out see if there's anything there i'm guessing you can maybe like buy your licenses there and stuff um also want to see what kind of interior they used because a lot of different servers use different interiors for their courthouse so let's check it out real quick we're skirting around here on our little bike boom there we go let's check out what's inside the courthouse all righty they used a pretty nice interior for this i don't think i've actually seen this one before i might have for one second so here we can buy an id I'm guessing we can also it's a little weird getting out of those menus you slash cash We've got a hundred bucks on us so let's go buy our id actually do we actually have one again these menus get a little weird sometimes where they get stuck um escape tab nothing i guess we have to buy an id then okay boom hopefully we didn't already have one doesn't seem like we did, but it also doesn't seem like we got the item. Uh, oh, wait, maybe. Maybe it's in here now. Boom. Okay, so there's actually separate tabs. So you have keys. So this was for the, I believe, the bike. We actually got a physical item. And then also we have our identity card here. We can switch between those two things. Kind of interesting. And we can go back to our main inventory by just clicking off of them again. Again, I don't think any of these weapons actually work. I think they're all expired. All that stuff is all expired. This desk, I'm guessing, is just the same thing. Yeah, buy ID. Again, it's a little weird getting out of those menus let's check out the rest of the courthouse i'm guessing it's just going to be pretty basic stuff like a little courtroom oh uh, there's probably some offices let's check it out real quick up here again yeah it looks like there's just some offices up here a little meeting room pretty interesting nothing too crazy though doesn't seem we can go into any of these doors unless they're just locked that's always a possibility uh let's check downstairs that's where i think all the courtroom stuff is probably going to be so let's check on this right side and that's locked okay never mind let's check on this side and that's open and i'm guessing this is where the courtroom is boom so there's a nice little courtroom in here again nothing too crazy nice simple courtroom definitely nice definitely a nice little addition here again you know you can't do too much crazy stuff for courthouse but there seems you know pretty simple pretty nice pretty understandable for the most part also while we're here and just running around let's take a look at the hud down in the bottom left i'm not the biggest fan of it it's a little weird to see especially if we're going like this over like the whiteness it's kind of hard to see like again if we're over like that it looks fine but once we go over to a lighter color it's a little bit harder to see especially if we go into like the sun like that it's a little hard to see on your eyes uh there's a little bit more shading i think on the uh numbers 
I think it will look a little bit better. A little bit of a stroke through them or around them. But let's take a look at them real quick again on the left. Let's get it somewhere where you can see it a little bit better into the green over here. So on the left, uh, we have, of course, our stress meter. It was what I'm guessing that is. Uh, again, I have no idea how to relieve stress. After this, we're going to go check out what's in the general stores and see if there's like cigarettes or something there or if we have to go for weed and other such. Um, we have our O2, which is, of course, our oxygen. I'm not sure why it's at 25%. Uh, I'm not sure again how the oxygen works if you can even get it to 100% since again we are in the air so we should have full oxygen uh, next I'm guessing we have our hunger and then after that our thirst which both seem like they go down at the same point on top of that we have our health bar which is a little interesting again it's a little hard to see in the whiteness as it is like that and I'm guessing if it is a little bit less than full it might be a little hard to see but overall again not a horrible UI again not one of my favorites it's a little hard to see just by like taking a glance at it but overall not bad at all and then we're on a vehicle in the bottom right we have our miles per hour our gas and if our seatbelt is on or off again nothing too much to complain from here here uh it's a pretty nice looking speedometer as well as the gas tank or the gas gauge and the belt nothing crazy again but uh, something is interesting when the phone pops up as you see it does cover all that info so that's a little frustrating but again just a super super minor inconvenience but next let's go check out the general stores and see what we're able to purchase there now again looking for the change logs there are a decent amount of criminal activity such as robbing stores they have a racing app coming soon i believe you can hit banks although i might be wrong on that and i believe they have a similar dongle system to what we have on just rp where you have a chance to get certain rare items when doing criminal activities they have oxy running and a couple other ones again we're probably not going to be checking any of those out during this video just because again we have to uh, actually figure all that stuff out through rp but uh let's actually you know while we're here check out the gun store i have to do this on every single server we go to check out see if you're able to purchase a gun without a license so let's do that real quick take a little look at ammunition let's go on in here Okay, let's go up here and see if we're actually able to just purchase a weapon. Uh, let's see. So obviously we don't have enough money for it. it. Seems like they do have a nice variety of weapons. They also have armor plates and body armor, which is pretty crazy that they just sell it at the store. But let's see if it'll even let us. Doesn't seem like we got a notification, so we might be able to actually buy weapons without a license, which would be very interesting. Um, usually, I think it's much better to have it so you have to have a license. So legal citizens can, you know, actually start gun running businesses if they want on their own, if they are careful about it. And there's actually a big reason to try and not get caught. So let's go grab some money and see if we're able to actually just purchase a gun without a license real quick. And I'll meet you guys once we're back at the ammunition. Alrighty, and we are back at ammunition with the money on us. Let's see if we're able to actually purchase a weapon without a license. Again, we have boom, 1300 on us. So we should be able to purchase any of these weapons. Let's uh let's go for let's go for the FNX. Boom. So we are, wow, you are able to just purchase it without actually uh having a license or anything. We already have ammo in ours. The crosshair on the server is very nice. Definitely like this little crosshair. Definitely interesting to use. So we can put that away for now. We don't have to worry about that gun. But uh, definitely interesting that you can just purchase guns like that. And also their durability system. Really weird how you can't access your inventory on vehicles as well. It's a little frustrating. I don't think there's another way to. So we have to actually get off the bike and then access our inventory. But uh, it doesn't actually show the actual like number of where. But it does seem like once this bar goes down, it will turn red. And then obviously, as we saw before, become unable to be used. So next, let's go check out, again, the general store and see what we can actually purchase from one of those. This one actually right here. So let's check it out real fast. Again, always good to check out what's at like the U-Tool, the convenience stores, the gun shop, all that stuff. Definitely good stuff to see. Uh, so let me see if we go over to him. Boom. Shop. Let's try this again. Boom. Shop. Okay, so nothing crazy. We can buy lighters, cigarette packs to relieve stress, I'm guessing. Iced tea, some different waters and drinks, and some different kinds of food. Again, nothing too crazy, but always nice to check out. But uh, let's go ahead over to the next spot I wanted to check out, which is going to be PDM, of course, and see kind of what the vehicle prices are, see how the vehicle system works, if we actually need a dealer there, or if we can do it ourselves, self-service. Let's go check it out. All right, is this self-service? It is, so let's browse the stock. Nope. Okay, this is a little weird. Boom. Browse the stock. Nope. Okay, let's try this again. Boom. Browse the stock. There we go. Third time's a charm. So we have some bikes for pretty low amounts of money. We have a taxi for 6,000. A couple of muscle cars for a decent amount of money, it looks like. Around 30,000 to quite a lot. 184 for the Dominator. 
145 for the faction it does seem like there is quite a lot in here and i also believe there are imports to the tuna shop we can go check that out after this as well oh you can actually get the common safari on the server which is just not a lot on a lot of servers because there's usually guns on them definitely a decent amount of vehicles seems like most of these sports or actually good vehicles cost anywhere between 200 to holy crap 500k for the chameleon hopefully that thing's good because i know default it is not very good oh my yeah the, the car prices do seem very very expensive although i don't really have a reference for how hard it is to get money oh it seems we can actually get some imports here as well so here we have the bmw m5 e60 forward focus rs and the subaru impreza wrx sti definitely interesting so i guess there are actual imports here as well it's definitely interesting to see Let's see if there's any other imports we can find real quick I think that was it for imports for the sports unless i missed some near the beginning and i think that's it we can check out some of the other imports as well maybe there's some in sedans let's look around a little bit oh audi rs6 okay interesting for 600k nice vans again all pretty reasonable prices for the vans for sure uh off-road any imports here they have the ford raptor okay so there are some imports here definitely interesting to see that i'm curious as to what is actually at the uh tuner shop if they have imports at this shop but let's go check that out actually in a second i'm actually kind of curious see if there's any more imports in the sports classic category does not seem it so let's uh go check out what is going on at the tuner shop so there's another guy here and again the tuner shop is located as it usually is over down by the dock so let's go check it out see what kind of vehicles they have in stock Ooh, looks like someone's doing a store robbery actually on the way to the tuna shop. Let's check it out. One, two, three, four, five. Holy crap, is that five police cars? Holy crap. So it definitely looks like there are store robberies and such, and there are people doing them. Definitely interesting to see. Let's continue on again to go over to the tuna shop. Just thought I would include that in here real fast since we're going by and checking it out. And we are here at the tuna shop. Let's see if it's open does not seem like the tuner shop is open so i guess we cannot check that out unfortunately in this video so i'm guessing the tuner shop probably has more specialty import vehicles than it does at pdm that's just my guess again there's no real way to know since of course we can't really check out the tuner shop now something else i did notice is that there is actually no icon for utool on the maps so i'm wondering if there actually is a utool again utool would normally be i believe right here and doesn't seem there's an icon is there one on the one up north does not seem like there's an icon here so i wonder if there actually is a u-tool or if it's just the general stores at the moment so let's go actually test that theory out real quick and see if there is a u-tool on the server if not then we've pretty much been through all of the legal ways to actually go and buy stuff we went to pdm we went to the general store and i'm pretty sure that's about it again there are mechanic shops and such but that's for vehicles there is smoke on the water which we will definitely go check out but i think that's the majority of it again it does not look like there's a ton of stuff for civs to do and looking on the phone as i saw earlier it seems like there are only where if we go to this party if we create one and then if we go to of course choose our job it seems there's only two jobs that are actually available at the moment which is delivery and recycling so it doesn't seem like the server is definitely lacking a little bit on these civ jobs and of course there isn't a ton of criminal jobs from what i've seen again i don't know the full story on that because they could have added stuff in and might not put in the change logs for fear of meta but it does seem like they do have store robberies i think they have bank robberies i could be wrong about that though i know that they have oxy running and i think that's pretty much it um again there probably is some other stuff that we just don't know about but there doesn't seem to be a ton of legal or illegal activity to do at the moment but let's keep looking around go see if the u-tool actually is a shop and i'll meet you guys once again we're over there oh geez as i was going over there it seems there's a huge gang meeting going on oh my look at all the people that's actually pretty that's pretty crazy it seems like there's a decent amount of people it seems like it's what red and those yellow people definitely interesting to see always nice seeing like you know some good gang rp on the server but let's go check out again see if there's anything at you tool it is not marked on the map so i'm doubting there will be but might as well check it out does not seem like there is there does not sign like there is at all nothing on the f1 and over here nothing on the f1 so i'm guessing that there isn't actually anything to be able to be bought at the u tool definitely interesting um but again let's go check out probably i think the last form of legal shop we have to check out and that is smoke on the water so let's go ahead over there and see what we can actually purchase from it again vehicle handling definitely a bit interesting let's go ahead over to smoke on the water and i'll see you guys once we're over there 
Alrighty, over at Smoke on the Water. Let's see what we can actually purchase from here. Oh, a nice little teeny MLO. Nice to see as well. Let's see what we can buy. Oh, that's glass. Okay, nice. Shop. Okay, again, the all thing is a little annoying, but sometimes it's fun. So we can get shears, a trowel, fertilizer, water, rolling papers, and a bunch of different, uh, I guess, gang banded rolling papers. Definitely kind of interesting. Dirty Riders, Face Paint, Vagos, Marabunta, which is a gang we were in in 2.0. Again, had a ton of fun with them. Bloods, Bala, FDF, and GSF. Definitely interesting to see. And also, I'm guessing you can actually grow because it seems like the Shears, Trowel, and Fertilizer would not be there if you couldn't. Again, there might be like a weed farm up north or something like that as well. But I think it actually is going to be pretty much it for the majority of stuff on SVRP. Again, there are little things like the different mechanic shops and food places, but those are pretty much normal on almost any server. There also is a pawn shop over here, which I'm guessing is just used to be able to sell stolen goods, which I'm guessing there are house robberies or some sort of script like that on the server. Of course, the prison, we can't really check that out too easily. And that seems to be pretty much about it. Um, so the big question is SVRP 3.0 worth playing at the moment? In my opinion, um, again, doesn't seem there's a ton to do. When I first joined the server, I believe when S3.0 first launched, there was just hunting. Since then, it seems like hunting has been disabled and they've added two new jobs. They've added some criminal activities and they've added a little bit of this and that to the server. Obviously, a lot of bug fixes, a lot of optimization things. I do run really good FPS on the server, to be honest. I don't think I've dropped below 80 in almost any point or around below 80 or 75. So the FPS and everything has been pretty decent. The performance, obviously very good. Honestly, uh, if you are looking to start off on SVRP 3.0 and get a little bit of a head start, I recommend the server. If you're looking to get into it and get super deep into like all the different systems, you might want to hold off for a little bit until the server is a little bit more developed. But that is just my opinion. Again, we didn't check out everything on the server. This was just, you know, kind of the stuff as a new player you would see when joining the server for the first time. But again, uh, not a ton of criminal activities from what I've seen and heard. Um, there seems to be only two legal jobs at the moment, of course, not including EMS, PD, or any whitelisted jobs, just mechanics. So again, there's not a ton to do on the server, it seems, at the moment. But of course, you can always create a ton of stuff through RP. And again, in my experiences in 2.0, there were a lot of really good RPers on the server. So if you're looking to get a head start on a pretty much new server, definitely recommend checking it out. Uh, in my opinion, if you're looking for a more developed server, I would wait a little bit. I'm going to do a video probably in two or three months updating and going over all these stuff SVRP has added since this video. So be sure to look out for that as well. But again, I think it's going to be about it for checking out Subversion 3.0. And again, my recommendation is that if you do want to try it out, go for it. But again, there aren't a ton of features at the moment but they are constantly adding and updating the server so again if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to leave a like and if you want to subscribe and i will see you in the next video